Hello everyone, I'm Shristi Maggo and I'm currently a beta level Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador and I'm also a freelancer and an open source contributor. So initially starting with my journey as ambassador, so I have joined this community last four months ago and now I'm enjoying its perks and the advantages it provides. So today in this video, I'll be telling you about some of the uh, Microsoft certified exams that you should be familiar with. And this is one of the advantages that Microsoft actually provides to all the student ambassador. So let's get started. Uh, let me share my screen. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, this is a Microsoft learn path. And uh, one thing here to be noted is this is only accessible to all the ambassadors. Uh, to become ambassador, you have to apply for the same. And after you get selected, you will be given the credentials for the same. And then you can be access this Microsoft Learn Path. So let's get uh, exploring. So here you can see the modules, uh, which I'm currently doing. And there are other paths as well. As you can see, there are other modules different modules according to the uh, technical field. And let's moving up to the uh, Microsoft certified courses. As you can see in the bottom line resources, there are some Microsoft certifications. And to explore that, you just have to click here. And here you will be notified with the some different Microsoft certifications program, as you can see. There are ample of certifications according to different fields. As uh, you can see on the screen itself. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the different certifications. There are three main type of certifications. Uh, fundamental certifications, role based certifications, additional certifications. So I'll be telling you how you can take these exams and get certified for the same. Like supposingly if I go for Microsoft certified is your fundamentals and it will direct you to this page and you can read with some basic of the description given about this certified exam. And to see the skills that you should be having is like describe cloud concepts, describe core as your services, security, privacy, uh, privacy and trust and different things. And now to prepare for the exam, there are two ways to prepare. Here is the online mode that is free of cost and that you should be access only after becoming a Microsoft student ambassador. So here are the learning paths you can go with to learn for the same. And after that, you can be like go with the exam and you uh, if you clear the exam, you also get certified for the same by the Microsoft. And second way is, uh, is like instructor led and this is paid. In this the instructor will be like delivering everything that is required for this examination. And so that it will be easy for you to give this exam. So to give this exam, there is this certification exam. You can see you can uh, select your state here. As I'm from India, so I just go with India. And after that, it will show me complete price for the same. And I should have to just go with like, there are different categories. Like for the non students interested in uh, technology, they should go with this for students or instructors, they should go with this and other job seekers who want to like get certified by Microsoft, they can go with this. So this is the main thing. And after qualifying for the same, you will be getting the certificate. As you can see, after giving the certification exam, you will earn the certification for the same. Let's explore, let's explore other certification exams you can see there are 365 certified fundamentals exams uh, there are more fundamental certifications as well as you browse here you will be get a uh, notify for the same moving up to the role based like if someone is like is your developer associate 
here she can go with that and and in the same way for preparing for the examination here she can go with either of the options and just get started with the same and after taking the exam here she gets uh, certified by the microsoft after achieving some criteria or after qualifying the exam uh, you can also see there are many many role based certification as well and for additional certifications you can see there are additional certifications as well like microsoft certified educator this is a short thing i'll be going with like for anyone who wants a certification for being a educator he or she can give this exam okay so for this there is no path to prepare so you just have to directly go uh, for giving the exam and you can like download the certification skills outline also to get more knowledge about the same and get certified as well so fundamental certifications are basically ideal for the individuals just starting in technology or thinking about career change like the one who are in college and want to get certified by the microsoft and role based is like you are doing something uh, some job in a company and you want to just change your job skill or just want to enhance your skills while working in specific company for the additional certifications i say like uh, you want to be a certified educator or officially office technical certifications are also there if you if i browse for fundamental certifications like you can see different certifications here are six certified exams for the same and uh, there are filter as well like in which products and which roles you want to apply and the levels for the same so you can go with that as well same with the role based certifications and the additional certifications you can like go with the same like uh, you have gone with the fundamentals so these certifications hold a really much value and actually helps in career so as i have already told you that to get access to this certifications or the microsoft certified exams you should be one of the microsoft ambassador so to apply for the same you can just go on their site this is the actual site for the microsoft and uh uski uh, uh, and after that what you can do is like on their main page it's not showing yet but yes uh, after that in the main page of the microsoft you will see the section for applying or for becoming a ambassador so after uh, clicking on that option you just um, reach to a page or you can say application process for the same and you just have to fill the application according to the directions and according to the requirements it asks and you are good to go for the same and if not get selected you can apply again for the same so it's really important to be one of the ambassador in microsoft at as it can provide you lot of benefits as well you can say uh, you can see there are ample of areas in which it provides learning path and other things as well and like having one of the microsoft certification it really holds a holds a value in your career so you should surely apply for the same so i guess that's all for the video uh, thank you